Welcome to Valor Fights 37. We're at Cleveland State Community College in Cleveland, Tennessee. I'm Vince Ferrar alongside Ben Sargent, Casey Oxen Dodd. What a main event we've got for you here tonight. College football fans, how about former Alabama football player Eric Anders? He's undefeated in MMA. He's taking on the very tough Jesse Grun in our main event. And Ben, start us out, tell us about Eric. Eric Anders, he's very explosive, has a lot of strength. He's, he's really quick. And like you said, football star. Uh, used to be a linebacker for the University of Alabama. And should be fun. Casey, tell us about Jesse. Well, Jesse Grun, many consider him to be the gatekeeper of the middleweight division. He takes exception. So very tough. That's our main event. A lot of intrigue in this one. Eric Anders, Jesse Grun, a middleweight bout tonight in our main event. But we've got a full night of MMA in store for you. Valor Fights 37 at Cleveland State Community College. And it starts next. What do you think just watching it? Well, I think overall Vince accounted for himself pretty well to go the distance against a legendary fighter in John Jones. Maybe not only the best pound for pound fighter in the light heavyweight division, but maybe even all of the UFC ever. And he's not an old guy either. So I think that was quite an accomplishment. John Jones wasn't quite what he used to be in his prime. But still, after a layoff, there's some rust there, but he's still very good. So I thought there was things that Ovin St. Peru could have done a little bit more. If he was more active uh, with his strikes, he was effective when he would strike, when he would strike but it, it wasn't frequent enough. And John Jones was winning round after round. And then finally, when he took him down, that's an area where John Jones is just dominant. So I thought Ovin did a good job. He was patient. He didn't put himself in too many difficult situations, but still, um, it, uh, I'm sure he feels like he could do things better, and, and he'll get another opportunity for sure. And how difficult is this, too? Not only are you facing one of the best fighters out there, you have three weeks. Like, he found out three we about three weeks before this fight. I mean, how much more of a challenge is that, too? It is, and cardio is probably the biggest thing. Uh, I talked to Scott Holtzman, another UFC fighter from Knoxville today, and he said with the bigger guys, it's tougher on short notice to be able to have the cardio to go the distance. So with the with smaller guys, it, it's easier to get that cardio. So that was a factor, but, you know, old Vince, that's why he was pacing himself. That's why he was patient. Uh, he last he was able to go the five rounds, and in the fourth round, he was bouncing around pretty good. It's just that there wasn't the offense to go along with that cardio. So that certainly was a factor. Obviously on a really big stage for this fight, but what does this do for OSP moving forward? Well, I think he still stays in the top 10, to yeah. be honest with you. I haven't seen the updated rankings as of yet, but I don't think he'll fall much at all, if at all. And Dana White said that this helps his stock because he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with John Jones. Yeah. That's something the UFC is not sleeping <laughs> on. It's a huge accomplishment. He was proud of himself afterwards. Some people have criticized OV, Ovin St. Proof for that. I don't think you should. I, I think he should have been proud of what he did. He knows he still can get better. So he'll get good fights. There's plenty of good guys, name guys in the division. So I think he'll be able to get good fights and not fall in the rankings. Vince, we appreciate it. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Courtney. All right, we'll send it back to you. Let's not forget Missouri dropped a touchdown pass earlier. LaDainian Washington right. had one. And then on the Dorio Green Beckham, quick a slip screen where he scored. Cam Dude. Sutton was late to react, and he went through the entire defense. I got to give Listen him one. Listen to Vance. Okay. Number one. Status. We will discuss it, breaking down in much more detail on Sports Radio WNML throughout all next week leading up to the Georgia game. And, of course, you can get a lot more coverage here at SportsRadioWNML.com. Follow us on Twitter as well, at SportsRadioWNML. Sam on Instagram as well. Tennessee comes back from down 21 to nothing to win 38-28 over the Florida Gators. The streak is snapped here September 24, 2016 in Knoxville. For Josh Ward, Blake Hatfield, and our Sports Radio WML crew, I'm Vince Ferrara. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. They touch gloves. Nate Jolly, our referee, with the final instructions for the two fighters in our main event presented by Ogle, Elrod, and Burrell. The middleweight said 185. It's Eric Anders in the black trunks, yellow trim. Jesse Grun in the all-black trunks. And when you're a former Alabama football player, you don't need a nickname. Jesse Grun's got one. Top Gun. We're underway. Three five-minute rounds from Cleveland, Tennessee. Valor fights 37. A dominant pro debut for Chandler Cole, who has really improved his striking tremendously. And you saw that on display. And you saw the power in the hands as well from Chandler Cole. So aggressive. And then that relentless ground and pound finish things off. Back to the cage to announce our winner. Here's Jennifer. Look at the tail of the tape. 
for this Valor Championship bout in the middleweight division presented by Ogle Elrod and Burrell, Kendrick Myrie, and Sid Wheeler. Wheeler, 13 years younger than Myrie. Myrie two inches taller and has a three fight advantage in terms of number of fights, but Wheeler is undefeated. Myrie weighed in at 183.8. Sid Wheeler exactly the same at 183.8. As Wheeler comes out to some prints, purple rain here at in Chattanooga Camp Jordan Arena. Wheeler is in the cage. Our main event is almost here for the Valor Middleweight Championship. Back to the cage, official introductions. Here is Jennifer. Wheeler staggered, regathers, kick to the body. Combination, Myrie answers. What a fight, and dead goes Wheeler oh. again. And, and Sid Wheeler ends up on top. Full and mount. mount. With round and pound from go. Wheeler. Can Wheeler finish in the fifth round? We're under a minute left. Myrie hanging on. Taking Unbelievable shots. Unbelievable shots here. Myrie trying to block shots. Jimmy Neely looking on. 45 left in this fifth and final round. Myrie gives up his back. Unbelievable. Now Sid Wheeler looking for the choke. That's defense. Neely looking on. Myrie grabbed the cage. He turns it down. Sid oh. Wheeler wins. The greatest fight in Valor Fights history Vince, it right It looks there. like a car wreck in the middle of the cage right now. Those guys are spent. Oh, my goodness. Well. And Myrie with the medical staff, the doctors, checking on both fighters, just absolutely spent. One of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. Any place, anywhere, anytime. Unreal. Best fight, not only in Valor Fights history, but as good as you will see in any organization anywhere. No disrespect to anyone. Here is the replay. And finally the tap from Sid Wheeler who taps Kendrick Myrie. And look at Wheeler, just absolutely gave everything he had. Myrie is still down in the corner as the doctors and the medical staff get Myrie up. Look at Sid Wheeler. You talk about upgrading your profile and winning in a big way. Sid Wheeler was tested, taken to the brink. It brought out, as confident as this kid is, it brought out more than he probably knew he had. And yet Sid Wheeler still undefeated. And the Valor middleweight champion. Unreal what we have witnessed here in Chattanooga at Valor Fights 33. I don't know if Sid Wheeler knows, realizes what he has just accomplished. And that man right there, I have no idea how he lasted as long as he did into this fifth round. Down to about the final 40 seconds maybe of the fifth and final round. He was on the brink numerous times. Yet Myrie somehow found a way to take Sid Wheeler to the brink and almost finish him. Wheeler, the phenom, was almost beaten on a couple of occasions. He can not stand up on his own. These two men have set the bar for MMA around the country regardless of organization. And those two hugging out. This one will be remembered for a long time because I don't think you can match it. To give us the announcement of our winner in this championship bout. Back to the cage, here's Jennifer.